a momentous occasion for us as we begin the first part of actual decorating in the house that we've done since we've moved in. I'm all prepped. This is the kitchen work I was telling you about. So essentially I'm going to paint here, this wall, this bit of wall, up here, and possibly the doors, but I'll wait and see how I feel about that. I'm not painting the cabinet doors. Um, my primary under coat is prepped, the top coat's down there. We've moved the old gas cooker away from where it used to go, which is here, and discovered uh, two big holes behind it in the wall and one in the floor, presumably for ventilation. So Will's been busy making these amazing replacement panels, which has even put the grooves in. So there's a little bit of prep work, um, but we'll, we'll do it over the space of maybe a, a few days and then it'll all come together and our new blind, which we've ordered, should be on its way soon. So we really feel like we're starting to make some steps forward when it comes to adding our own personal touches to this property. We're very excited about that. Welcome to Tuesday. And I've waited and waited and waited. But today's the day. Lovely clear blue sky. Not too windy. Currently not that hot even. There was a frost this morning. Probably still pockets lingering. Certainly the lawn's damp and sparkling, which is what I like. Because I'm hoping this will be my last bonfire of this season. It's a modest size one and there's a modest amount of extra stuff to go on, although I do still have some material behind me up the hill, which I may or may not drag down. It, it wouldn't hurt to stay up there until next year, but if I can, I'll probably bring some of it down. It's pretty early in the morning, it's not yet 8, so I do like to get these things started to give them the maximum amount of time to burn down. Here we go. Now all we can do is wait. Let's see if this catches. So far, so good. Well, then mostly that'll be the cardboard burning. But hopefully that's generating enough heat to catch the wood. And so it begins. Phase one of Operation Final Bonfire is complete. Phase one comprising lighting it and then getting all the big bits of wood off the lawn and onto it. I'm now going to start phase two, which is bringing down some of the stuff from the backwards. But first I'm going to have a gulp of water because that's pretty hot and tiring work. I'm just on my way up to the first pile, um, which is in front of me. Um, this is the sort of thing I mean anyway. So when I've been working on operation thinning. I keep most of the wood I generate but the very very tops of the trees where it's twiggy and branchy 
I just don't really need that. Same with this regrowth around the base of a lot of the dead trees. I don't need that. So there's a few piles like this up here, further up the hill. So I'm going to drag those down, add them to the bonfire. It's probably not necessary this could stay here, but since I've got the opportunity and essentially I just, any sort of material that I generate, I do like to remove rather than just leaving on the woodland floor, um, adding to the fire load, which is why I'm now going to be dragging this down the hill too. Phase two complete. The little piles of wood I had up the top have been brought down. So last, but by no means least, is phase three. And essentially what this comprises, as you can see, after months and months and months of piling wood here for my rolling bonfires, there's a lot of debris on the lawn. So, <laughs> After yet another gulp of water, gosh it's thirsty work, I'm going to get my rake and rake these into piles, add the piles onto the bonfire, then I'm pretty good to go. straight. Just have to collect up these little piles, put them on my bonfire and uh, bonfire season 2022 is officially over. It's been yet another successful day. Now one project's come to an end for a season, it's time to turn my attention to the next, but uh, I'll save that for another time. I just wanted to end today by showing you something that I hope you'll be able to see, but I acknowledge it might be tricky. Um, now, basically the other day I was cutting Will's hair and he shook the cape he was wearing out on the garden and the day after Will saw a chuff collecting the hair and he quipped, oh, but that's collecting that to line its nest. <laughs> anyway, we tracked it as it flew off and I followed it to this tree. And lo and behold, there is in fact a chuff's nest in this tree. It's there. I don't know what it's made out of, but it sort of looks like a bowl of mud. And you might just be able to make out the tail of the chuff sitting on the eggs. Um, I, I know this isn't great quality footage because I'm right zoomed in. The uh, chuff's just turned around. Sort of in the middle of the screen. I'll zoom back out. I was quite pleased with that, you know, for all the birds and all the trees we have on our property, I've never really spotted any nests before, so that was quite exciting. Obviously the uh, primary nest it would be cool to find is the bower birds, they're the ones that collect all the blue things. Um, well, that's not really their nest, I suppose, anyway. It'd be good to find the bower of a bower bird. <laughs> Um, but not yet, maybe one day. Uh, oh, and just for context, that's the Mr. Darcy walk and this is the little rivulet <laughs> that goes to a pond that is down there. So I shall leave the, the chuff in peace. Since I'm down here, I thought I'd round out today's footage with the uh, frog chorus. If 
from our pond. Chilling out with a few friends. Not really. Bit bonfire heavy this week. Um, but you'll be sorry to see them go once we hit lawn mowing season, which is imminent. Anyway, just quickly, this is the remains of all these weeks and weeks of having bonfires. But uh, on this property, as far as is possible, I like nothing to go to waste. So I have noticed a long time ago that the area sort of directly around the bonfire, the, the grass tends to be a lot greener. And this is actually very, very useful stuff. So what I've done for the past few years is once bonfire seasons come to an end, I shovel it up and then I spread it all over my lawns. Primarily this lawn, but if there's enough, I go right around the house, not inside the fence, but the lawn directly around the house. The reason I do that is basically I want this lawn to be as healthy as possible because that makes it resilient against drought, which helps make it better able to protect the property should a fire come through. Um, I don't want to spend a lot of money doing that however. The main way I go about achieving that is by constantly mowing it and keeping it in check. But giving it some fertiliser doesn't hurt. That's what this is. It's free, it just takes a bit of effort. I'm going to do it now because maybe not tomorrow but the day after we're due some rain. So that'll help wash it all in. So. Um, Good opportunity, let nothing go to waste. Five barrowfuls later. Time to say goodbye.